Hello friends, now I am bringing a new series of accounting project in MVC. Now I am going to use MVC ASP.NET uh, 2012 or 2017 and back in as a Microsoft SQL Server and in C Sharp. So we are going to create an accounting project like in previous project we have created in Windows and currently everywhere in the market uh, it is running it is uh, MVC model. So ASP.NET model has become too much. Um, old version old type so we are going to begin in MVC so first of all just uh, go to the Visual Studio 2017 I am going to use 2017 it will take a time so just wait for a moment now here it is now click on the file new project okay it is too much heavy actually the project uh, 2070 takes too much amount of memory and CPU usage now here it is so just select to web sorry select all videos c sharp and you can see here it is you can see list of the applications now select windows ASP not web application select this one and change the folder now just create a new folder that is of okay we will create in somewhere it is in the C drive okay in G MPC accounting project MBC okay just now select that and select just change the name AP means up accounting project MBC click OK now over here I'm going to use MVC so now just uh, select over here don't do anything uh, here web API is different project and web form and empty and in empty there will uh, many file contain so just select MVC and click on OK just wait for a moment it will take a time now after taking a time of 2-3 minutes it has created a file here you can see start contain controllers it is our uh, actually we have selected the MVC we have not selected the empty so therefore after selecting the MVC it has created uh, automatically the uh, script views here, uh, here you can see views home shared and all that so first of all just be going to run again it will take a time so just wait for a moment now okay you can see after 3-4 minutes of uh, running it has been finally executed now here you can see it is automatically created a simple application in the uh, MVC now after every, when you click in home about contact we have to just use this uh, views uh, scripts for making our application for that purpose we have made, uh, made MVC otherwise we can take the empty project it will take too much long time so here you can see about contact
now this is a simple razor form and it contains razor or ASPX form or it is called as a razor engine now over here it is controller where it call the views the action result it is called the action result and it in the views the name of the action result is should be similar to the uh, index here you can see index to index or about and about over here you can see and the home controller you can see controller and same over here you can see home and the folder name should be same over here home but you can change in the routing after using root uh, root tag about the uh, action result uh, in the future will uh, coming coming tutorial will going to teach that so and here you can see share folder so we can share the script or another layout or partial views and that we're going to use in here so basically we want to use this one now we'll begin our project by using a login form the first form so over here just right click and select add and controller I will use empty so you could understand every single code now select add now change here to login login controller You can also do by using entity framework but we are not going to use that uh, it will hide up the SQL procedures and queries all that thing but we are going to use it will make by non entity framework we are going to use our script over here okay just uh, right click over here and we want class and now model act like a business uh, business tire or business layer so just write on here login cls login ok just add it over here uh, over here we are going to define our classes functions and over here just go to the controller now just right click over here and click on the add view Now over here, just select. Uh, no, I will change the name. Over here, just change the name to login. And right click over here, and click on the add view. Okay, login. Uh, I will say empty. Just now we will use empty. Okay, create partial. No, just don't select anything. Just add. Okay, over here. I'm going to use another thing that is view data or view back over here view back view back and view data is used for transferring data from controller to view sorry now just write on simple well Now just copy this one and actually over here you can see this is dynamic keyword welcome you can add anything over here okay just uh, hold on or this one we can write anything it is a dynamic keyword and it is the latest version of the MVC or uh, if you want to use view data we can use like this like a session anything but in the view bag okay 
now just copy this one and paste over here after creating login you can see the login folder has been created from this one and uh, login rather have been created over here login view just paste over here and uh, I'll use this one uh, H1 ok and make it as a ampersand ampersand is used for to include the mbc uh, variable so just save it and uh, run it ok it is taking a little bit time so just wait for a moment ok see so you can see over here welcome to mbc now what we have written in this login form you can see over here welcome to so it has shown over here so we are going to use a login form of uh, admin ld in the next tutorial we are going to use login form of uh, and going to integrate the MVC code SQL procedures uh, it may contain over here for forms I think so for example here it is login form now we are going to use this form and going to integrate in our MVC so thanks for watching and have a good day.